completing your online application. Once you've selected the course you wish to apply for, you'll be taken to the screen where you'll be asked to register. If you are a new user, click here to register. You are now asked for all your details. Your password must contain at least six letters, one of which must be a capital and at least one number. You will now be asked for three security questions from the drop-down menus. You will need to remember these as you will be asked for them if you forget your password. Once you have completed these three security questions, click on Create New User. Now that you have registered or logged in, you are now on the home page of the online application system. Here you have two options, apply for a full-time course or apply for a part-time course. Today I am going to apply for a part-time course. Course details. There are a number of sections relating to your application form. Throughout this video, there will be a message before the section of the questions that require important information. At the bottom of each section, there are three options. You can undo changes, print your application, or save your application. Once you have selected or confirmed your location and course, then click on the arrows to take you to the next section. Course fees. In this section, you will have to indicate to us how you're paying your course fees. There are a few options available to you. One, I would like to pay my course fees by credit or debit card. I would like to pay using ILA. Please note, this option will only appear if the course is ILA funded. You will have to enter your ILA number for this fee to be processed. Another option that may appear is a part-time fee grant. Again, this is only if the course has been approved for this funding. I would like you to invoice my employer. You will have to enter your employer's details into the fields provided. I believe I may qualify for fee waiver. You can select the fee waiver option by selecting from the drop-down list. You will need to provide us with this evidence by uploading the documents later in your application or as soon as possible so that your application can be processed. You can also call us on the number provided to discuss this option. I would like to pay by six monthly instalments. Please note this is for courses running more than six months and in excess of £200. Click on the arrows to take you to the next section. Personal details. First of all, you start by selecting the Update Your Details button. In this section, you can also change your email address and password. Always remember to save the changes and you can return back to your application. Next is the Residency section. You can enter your Scottish Candidate number and National Insurance number. Using the drop-down menu for Ethnic Origin and Nationality, Country of Birth, there are also four more questions that you need to answer by selecting yes or no. The next section is employment details. If you work more than 16 hours per week and you can answer by selecting yes or no. If yes, you'll be asked to complete this section with your employment details. Once you're done, click on the arrows to take you to the next page. Education and qualifications. You may be asked the question, are you a school leaver? This will only appear depending on your age. Next, you can select the last school you attended from the drop-down menu. Select Yes if you have qualifications and want to upload your certificates. If you don't have a copy of your qualifications, please contact the college office and they will upload them for you. If you answer Yes to qualification pending, you will have to add them in. You will be asked for details of the qualifications you have pending. Select the qualification from the drop-down menu and enter the subject and grade and save the changes. You can add more by selecting the Add Qualification button or Cancel if need be. If you need to make changes once you have entered the qualification, you can click on the pencil to edit or click on the cross to delete. If your first language is English, please select Yes. If not, then select No. If you are already a student on a full-time course or have been given an unconditional offer at Dundee and Angus College, select Yes. If not, select No. And if it's yes, you'll be asked to identify that course. Click on the arrows to take you to the next section. Reference. For this section, you will need your referee's name and email address. Enter their name and email address into the fields given. Please note, you cannot cut and paste the email address in when confirming it. 
If you don't know the referee's email address, you can download the reference form later and pass it on to your referee to complete. Click on the arrows to take you to the next section. Personal statement. A personal statement allows you to show the college why we should offer you a place on the course. In order to do this successfully, you need to show your interest and enthusiasm for the subject, as well as demonstrate why the course is right for you. Here are a few ideas of the types of areas that should be included. Why have you chosen this course? What is your employment history? Do you have any relevant hobbies or interests that you would like to tell us about? Have you done any volunteering? Are there any personal achievements that you would like to tell us about? Please remember that some courses do not conduct an interview and the more you are able to tell the college about yourself, the easier it is to access your suitability. Please enter your personal statement in the field below. Once you have done this, click on the arrows to take you to the next section. Student Services Dundee and Angus College has a dedicated supported learning team where you can discuss your support needs and confidence. Do you have a disability, an impairment, health condition or learning difference? Answer the following questions below using the yes or no option. Once you have completed, select the arrows to take you to the next section. Marketing. Please tell us how you found out about this course. Also please tell us where you have seen or heard about the college. Once you have done this, select the arrows to take you to the next section. Declaration. Please read the Data Protection Statement and the SDS Data Assessment Agreement before submitting this application form. Once you have done so, select the check boxes and select the arrow to go to the next section. Equal Opportunities. As part of the equality legislation, Dundee and Angus College are required to collect data on protected characteristics such as age, religion and gender. This data is not available to staff who are reviewing your application for a place on the course. They cannot see it as it is used purely for reporting purposes and completely confidential. Complete the required fields below. Your religion or belief, your sexual orientation, is your gender the same as at birth, are you married or in a civil partnership? Once you have done this, select on the arrows to take you to the next section. Required evidence. To complete your application, we require evidence for the following checklist items noted below. You can upload a maximum of 12 documents as evidence for each checklist item. To upload a document, click on the Upload Evidence button for the relevant checklist item. If you are unable to upload any evidence for a specific checklist item, select the Unable to Upload Required Evidence button. Click on the arrows to take you to the next section. Required Evidence To upload evidence, click on the Browse button and select the document you would like to upload. Once you have selected, click on the Upload Evidence button. Once you have done this, click on the arrows to take you to the next section. You are now ready to submit your application. Once it has been submitted, you will not be able to edit it further. Once you submit your application, you should receive this message that your application has been submitted successfully. You should log into your account regularly to see what is happening with your application. All correspondence is sent to you via email, which can also be viewed using the mailbox tab in your account. You can add another course choice by clicking on the Apply Now button. This will create another application for you and you can simply select the course you would like to apply for. You will also see if you still have outstanding evidence to upload. If you have made a mistake or have some additional information to add to your application, please contact us on application at dundeeandanguscollege.ac.uk with the details. Please do not create an additional account to rectify it.